Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I'm going to try this out, see how we like it. Um, if we need to get snazzier, we will. If this will work, that's awesome. All right. Uh, today in our warm-up problem, we had Olive uh, was swinging. She launched herself at a 30-degree angle of the horizontal at a rate of 2.2 meters per second. All right. Part A of that uh, was fairly simple. It was just to find the horizontal and the vertical components of that, all right, of her velocity. Um, as, as you might know, uh, hopefully by this point in time, just set it up. Horizontal is the cosine of the angle times your hypotenuse, and uh, vertical is your hypotenuse once more times the sine of the angle 30, all right? Throw each of these into your calculator, and what you get is you get the initial velocity in your horizontal direction, all right, and that gives you 1.9 meters per second. And putting it into your y, your initial y velocity is 1.1 meter per second, all right. So that solves for part A, all right. Part B asked you how long did she spend in the air? All right, and it gave you a piece of information that uh, I think some of you might have been missing, some of you might have guess, actually saw, that it actually gave 1.09 meters. All right, so she landed 1.09 meters away from where she was launched from. Uh, so that's, that's what we need, because we, we're trying to figure out our time. And so if we take our horizontal distance, so 1.09 meters, divide that by our velocity and this will actually give you what time is and punching it into your calculator you get 0.57 seconds all right yes I rounded a bit uh, that happens sometimes but this is your time here's your time this is the answer for part B how long she spent in the air all right part C is where a lot of you uh, got confused some of you nailed it um, Others, others not, but that's okay. Um, but here's, you can do it one or two ways. You can do it the easy way or the complicated way. And I think uh, most of you are trying to do it the complicated way. All right. But the easy way is just finding one of your kinematics. All right. Um, so we need to figure out what do we have. All right. What do we have in order to figure out how high off the ground she actually is? All right. Uh, so since we're dealing with how high she is, off the ground uh, when she launches. We're thinking about that vertically, all right? So what do we know vertically? We know our initial velocity is that. We know our vertical time is the same as our other time, which is 0.57 seconds, all right? We know what our acceleration is, all right, so that we have that. Uh, if you want to consider the, the ground level being zero, you know what your inex initial position is, all right? So, or if you want to say that's actually your final position, that's fine too. Either way you want to say it, it's fine. It, you're going to end up with the same result, all right? Uh, so let's just say that we know that my position, my final position in the y direction is zero, just making that the ground floor, all right? Calling that good. Uh, so we have that, 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 and that. Then all you have to do is, like I said, find one of your kinematics, which hopefully you're in front of me and you picked out the fourth one. Blah, blah, blah. All right. And since we're dealing, we have two different directions. If you want to go back and make sure that you're uh, dealing with your Y, uh, just put Y's down there just in case you want to keep it all separate. Uh, that's fine and good. All right. So, as we said, our final position was 1 or 0. I'm sorry. Uh, our initial position is what we're trying to figure out. We know our initial velocity is 1.1 meter per second. We know our time. We know our acceleration. And again, we know our time. We're going to square it. All right. 
just erase that. There you go. All right. Uh, throw that into your calculator. All right. And what you're going to end up with is 1.1 times 0.57 is 0.627. Uh, multiplying this out, you get minus 1.59. Make sure that you have your units everywhere. All right. And then, of course, equals zero. All right. Solving for, for what you need to do, you need to move all of this over here. And once you add your 1.59, subtract your 0.627, you end up with your distance being 0.965 meters off the ground. All right. That's the easy way to do it, all right? Uh, so, see you tomorrow.